Hello, ladies. Um, I figured, <clears throat> since I'm recording books for my students and songs to make people laugh, Sunday school lessons for kids, that I would find one of my devotional books and read a devotion to share on the ladies page. Um, and I'll put the link to where you can actually buy this if you're interested, if you like it, um, on the video information page. Anyway, I switched, I picked the section called Hope for the Journey because I think we all just need a little hope right now. And um, the title of today's is Hope for the Journey and it's written by Bonnie Sala. I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right. So if I am doing it wrong, I apologize. Um, the key verse is Hebrews 6, 19. It says, we have this as a sure and steadfast anchor of the soul. A hope that enters into the inner place behind the curtain. We are terrible hopers in this day and age, says Francis Chan. We expect the worst because we've been let down too much. If something even halfway decent happens in a day, we consider that a good day. The Bible says that hope deferred makes the heart sick. That's from Proverbs 13:12. Perhaps you feel that there isn't much hope on your journey through this life. The truth is, the here and now, our bank accounts, our accomplishments, anything that we can touch, see, and feel, even the people around us that we love best were never meant to give us hope. They were never designed to lead to what the Bible calls the hope that does not disappoint. That's Romans 5.5. 5. Paul laid it out straight for us. Through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. That's from Romans 5.12. The problem is, Francis Chan says, hope in the glory of God doesn't anchor our souls. Hope in God's glory won't do us any good if God's glory is little more than a nice-sounding religious sentiment. The glory of God is in the gospel, God's story of Jesus' death for us, resurrection, and our redemption and restoration back into right relationship with him. When the story is told and the gospel is preached, what shines out from it? Paul says in 2 Corinthians 4, 4, is the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. Is your heart sick? Has your journey been marked by potholes of disappointment? Maybe we've all lost sight of his glory because we've lost sight of our need for the gospel. Maybe we've lost sight of his glory because listening to him and reading his love story has been relegated to the leftover time in our lives. Are you thrilled with him right now? Chan challenges us. So what gives you hope? Um, when I post this video, I would love for you to add a comment about what gives you hope. Let's pray. Father, please open the eyes of my heart, of the heart of every woman listening to this, Help me get my eyes off of myself, off of the here and now, and to see the glory of the gospel, the glory of Jesus. Amen. Okay, hope you enjoy it, or at least I hope you think about the message. Have a good day.